How's it going everybody? Wheat Penny Collector here and today I'm going to go through my silver stacking strategy. So um, yeah, I'm gonna mention one thing. Uh, I've actually surpassed the 1,000 total view mark on my channel so that's awesome and I'm up to 70 subscribers so thanks for that guys. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go through all my coins really quickly because there are a couple of new additions to my collection so I'll show that off for all you viewers. And uh, I'm just going to go through everything real quick, though, because I did show most of these in my old videos. All right, so here are my coins. So uh, these I would consider, like, all of my special coins. Uh, the Australian Kookaburra, 2017. A 2013 Australian Koala. A 2018 Year of the Dog. And an Australian Kangaroo are all made by the Perth Mint. And I like the Perth Mint. I think their coins just look really cool. And it's a mint known for their uh, quality, too, so... A lot of people buy from them. And this is a Donald Trump coin. And this is a 2017 Panda. So these are three Silver Eagles, uh, two 2017s I have, and then a 2009. And then this is an uh, Elizabeth II Canada um, Olympics commemorative thing. And yeah, as you can see, I dropped the case and I put a crack in it. So I'm probably gonna have But to yeah, Calgary 19, 1988. And this is the first silver coin I've ever bought. It's just a silver round. So, yeah, pretty cool. And this is a Chinese coin. I showed it in a video before, but I'll just go through it again for all my new viewers. Pretty cool. Has a dragon on it. And this is new. So this is uh, from the Nationals Collector's Mint. I've never actually heard of them before. And um, this is like four or five ounces of silver, which is really cool. My dad just like grabbed it out of his closet. So, yep, as you can see here, has all the states on it. Pretty cool. Uh, comes in this cool little box. And as you can see here, it also comes with a certificate of authenticity. So there's 750 worldwide. It's pretty rare. Uh, four ounces AVDP, which is 21.5% uh, more silver than one-fourth of a pound Troy. So it's pretty much saying it's like five ounces of silver. And this is my junk silver. So uh, there's a Morgan I've shown off in one of my videos. Uh... Old Canadian quarter, old Swedish krona, um, an old Netherlands golden, and a really beat up but still silver uh, English uh, sixpence. And these are all my nicer silver coins. So uh, this is an 1896 Spanish I've showed off, 1858 Australian Hungary, uh, 1942 Fiji shilling, uh, 1945 Indian one fourth rupee, a 1918 French franc. Uh, 1942, one shilling. My oldest coin I have is 1794, two reals, and a 1938, six pence. So, yep, that's all my silver stack so far. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to go through why I mostly collect coins. As you can see here, I have no bars, and um, I just think bars don't really generate a good return over time. So, if you look on the internet and try and buy, um, a silver kookaburra, for instance, it's like $25 compared to the 20 you're spending on a bar. So bars are cheaper because they're easier to make and they do contain the same amount of silver. So I guess if you just want to like accumulate as much silver as you can, then I guess collecting bars would be the best. But with me, I want to generate a return on my investment. So um, I've noticed that coins... Uh, are more pegged to like a premium for their price or like an age. So for example, you know, uh, for this 1858 Florin, there's like $3 or 3 or $4 worth of silver in here, but I paid 15. So basically people are paying more for the historical value than I'd say the silver value. So I got this round, right, for the silver value in it. So it was obviously cheaper than the Australian Kookaburra because people pay a premium for this because there's a cool design and it's from a really cool mint rather than this, which is less cool of a design. But these develop bigger returns over time. So for example, uh, since 1999, you know, the silver price hasn't really changed too much. It, it's of course gone up and down. In 2009, there was like a huge silver bubble. So there was a silver bubble and uh, the price of silver went really high, like $40, I think. So uh, the price has changed, of course, don't get me wrong. It hasn't been like really stagnant, but it hasn't been like in a guaranteed increase like premiums have. For the, mo for the most part anyway, historical coins 
are getting rarer and rarer each day just because, you know, one person might clean one, one person might ruin one. It's just getting harder to find in circulation. You know, you can't find old coins like this in circulation anymore. So I think those are better premiums than the silver price. So I just pulled up uh, Aunt Max's website here. And as you can see, here is are the prices for the premiums on, uh, on the kookaburras. So as you can see here, here's the current premium on a 2009 silver kookaburra, which is $40. But um, as you can see here on the silver price, the silver price was only like $10. I got the year wrong. I said like the bubble was in 2009. It was actually more like 2011. So you've made four times, you've made uh, four times your investment if you bought a 2009 kookaburra then because it, there's a $40 premium and let's say you bought it close to spot back then because it wasn't rare back then, it wasn't as big in demand because it was the newest one, you would have quadrupled your investment. But let's say you bought a bar, right? A bar might have been cheaper, a bar might have been under $10, but see the price of silver now? The price of silver now is about $20. Um, it, well, it's lower than $20, it's more like 18. This graph doesn't really go all the way to 2017, but you would have you would have done well on your investment, don't get me wrong, but with coins, I think that you don't have to rely on the silver price as much because the silver price is controlled by the market. Or is controlled by the market, controlled by the banks is what I meant. Well, the premium price, you know, the premium price on coins is controlled by people, you know, because banks aren't going to collect old coins. I mean, certain hedge funds definitely do invest in old coins, but uh, banks are more concerned with paper silver and paper silver certificates and stuff. And I just don't want my investments to be pegged to a market which I feel is manipulated like the silver market right now. Uh, I think there's some big banks that are playing in the silver market. And um, while silver is, of course, good to have, I think that it is being manipulated. And if you buy coins, you know, it, it, it isn't as manipulated because there's, of course, the silver price that you have to take into account, but also... Uh, people pay premiums because they're just cool looking coins. So yeah, that's my silver stacking strategy. I'm pretty much just going to uh, collect old silver coins like this. Um, I'm definitely going to start collecting things from the Perthman. I think that's going to be my main focus actually. I'm just going to start collecting kookaburras, um, the lunar coins. This is what they call like all the coins that are based on Chinese years, like Chinese years and the animals. These are really cool. So I might collect pandas too, but panda panda premiums are ridiculously high right now, even though they're a really high mintage. So I might not go for any newer pandas. I might just collect the old pandas instead. Um, you know, I'll collect more silver eagles here and there. So, yeah, so even though silver eagles are cheaper, um, I'm probably just going to stick with the specialty coins because, I mean, I got this 2009 uh, silver eagle for not much more than what I paid for this. So these are, of course, way more common and have way higher of a mintage than these specialized coins. So what I'm probably going to do is, like I said, I'm going to collect uh, Perth Mint coins. I'm going to collect maybe a few more pandas. I'm just going to start stacking specialty coins. I'm, of course, going to get my hands on a lot more junk silver when I can. I'm going to coin roll hunt and do all that stuff. So, yeah, I hope you like this uh, short little ramble. Another coin video about the rest of my silver stack. Um, and my future goal for stacking. So if you like that video, leave a thumbs up, share with your buddies, and subscribe.